Number 10, whatever you do, do it to your best. Number nine, it's an imperfect world. If you're not a part of the solution, you are a part of the problem. <laughs> Number eight, this is my MacGyver list. Wherever you go, always have a flashlight, a Swiss Army knife, and duct tape. <laughs> and for those of you in the 90s, don't forget to craft macaroni and cheese and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Number seven, turn down the volume. Learn to listen to the silence. The truth lies under the noise. Number six, always leave the campground in better shape than you found it. Number five, and I'm sorry to do this one in a sense, but, but it is necessary, considering the tragedy at Garces, please don't drink, and don't drink and drive. This has been, it's been a bad week. roommates, never put the telephone bill in your name. <laughs> That's personal experience. <laughs> Number three, don't get into trouble. Number two, when you get into trouble, call home. We love you. This is where you'll get support. And number one, when in doubt, ask for help. It is there. You know what love is. Thank you for four wonderful years. May you always know gratitude. Now, Get out. We learned in kindergarten. <coughs> I agree. <laughs> Sharing taught me not to be selfish, whether it was with my crayons or my car, giving rides to friends. Another life-saving lesson I learned was to not put things in my mouth that didn't belong there. <laughs> and whether it was paste or alcohol, I stuck to it. But the best kindergarten lesson applies not only to me and my fellow peers, but to all in general, and that's to be a friend. The past four years went by faster than any of us could really even see, and in a matter of days, we'll be saying goodbye to people we used to call friends. People that we saw every day in the halls or out on the weekends with friends are going to become just a memory. Personally, I don't like the way that sounds. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to share with you a piece of scripture from the Bible that has become sort of a life verse for me. The passage comes from John 15, 13, and reads, Greater love has no one than this, than he who lays down his life for his friends. This verse means so much to me because that's how I, much I value my friends. But I didn't always feel that way. Believe it or not, in junior high, I was one of the shyest kids in school. No, really. <laughs> Although I was one of the biggest, I somehow managed to blend in with the crowd. I just didn't have many friends. Until one day when a girl I lived near asked me to watch her dogs over the weekend while she went out of town. She was one of those people that you would associate with the cool crowd. Although she never had the attitude you would also associate with that crowd. She, she called me and asked me to come over so I could learn what I was to do. And well, after that we ended up hanging out for a couple hours and talking and laughing about everything we could even think of. And you know, just that little act of friendship that she showed me, without even knowing, she opened my eyes up to see who I really was. And to this day, I, mean, I remain eternally grateful to her. Her name is Jasmine Masai, and she's the best. She helped me discover the value of friends. A great guy. If I didn't have the people in my life that I'm going to have to let go of, I may not be here now, and I know I wouldn't be standing in front of you talking. And it may not be just a friend. For you, maybe it's a, a teacher, a mentor, or an old girlfriend or boyfriend. Whatever the case, someone here at BHS has given you a love that you will always remember. And it's for that reason that although you may have to say goodbye to them, you'll never leave them. Because you'll always be able to take them with you. Whether you're going to end up at a big college back east or a junior college in the heart of Bakersfield, Friendship like love is forever, and we'll last that. Here we go, by LT. <laughs> Here we go, it is our time. Opportunities are endless to make the climb. We have the knowledge, we are in the know. It is our time. Here we go. Let's take a journey. Home is a good start. Kiss mommy and daddy goodbye. We must depart. 
Step into our shoes and put on our hat. Pack up our bags. Are you ready for that? Leave our home for now and shut the door. Let's explore life. There is much, much more. Hop on a bus, a plane, or a train. See the world. It's ours to gain. For most, it's off to school again. Four, five, six, eight, or more years. We'll go to college. Donate blood, sweat, and tears. Success is available. It's there for the taking. Studying hard, doctors, lawyers, and presidents in the making. Then after school, it's time for a job. Hey, it's the real world. Try not to sob. Whatever we may do, whatever we may be, let's improve things. Be a better world employee. Hold on to our integrity. Keep those shoes and hat on right. For our principles, we will have to put up a fight. Adversity is good. It is only a test. Like Mr. Douglas said, without struggle, there is no progress. During our journey, try not to walk straight. Change is inevitable. Make it your fate. Be different. Find your own form. You are an original. Defy the norm. A wise man once said, for he had much to tell. He knew our journey. He knew it quite well. The man once said, do not follow where the path leads, but go where there is no path and leave a trail for others' needs. It will not be easy. It will be quite tough. Our journey will be hard. The road will be rough. We will have problems, challenges along the way, yet when we make it there, it will be a beautiful day. It is exciting. Wow. We are the future, and the future is now. We have the knowledge. We are in the know. It is our time. Here we go. Ms. Yin Ho prepares for the organ presentation, I would ask that uh, at the conclusion of which the processional begins for all the uh, parents and guests to remain seated until all the graduates have... Mm -hmm. 